So we're going to do a little more on using tree diagrams and the example we're going to work with is um, about Finn going sailing. So 85% of the time Finn goes sailing, he goes in daytime um, and he correctly identifies other vessels that he sees out on the sea 92% um, of the time during the day but he's not very good with the lights at night and he's only correct 60% of the time when he goes at night and has to identify them by their lights. Now we're going to draw a tree diagram to show all of the possibilities that could happen on his sailing trips and their likelihood, their probabilities. Okay, so he could either go at day or night. The chances of him going out in the day was 85%, so we're going to put a 0 0.85 on that branch. The chance that he goes at night will then be 1 minus 0 0.85, so that's going to be 0 0.15. Then once we've decided if he's going in the day or the night, he can either correctly identify the other vessels or be incorrect. The chances of being correct during the daytime were 92% or 0 0.92, which makes the chances of him being incorrect in the daytime 0 0.08 to make those two add up to 1. At night time, he can be, again, correct or incorrect, but this time it's less likely he's correct. He's got a 60% chance of being correct at night time. That means we've got a 0.4% sorry, 0.4 chance or 40% chance of being incorrect at night time. Okay, so along each of those branches, we can now find the probability of each thing happening. So this top one, if we're going to finish this tree diagram properly, we need to show the probabilities of each outcome. So this top one is the probability that he went um, in the daytime and was correct. So that and means we're going to multiply. Remember that from the last video, when you read across the branches, you multiply those things together. So he's got a 0 0.782 chance of his next trip being um, in the day and identifying things correctly. Then we've got this uh, next one is the probability of going in the day and being incorrect. Now notice that little dash on the C there. That is the probability notation for the opposite of the thing. So C represents correct. C dash is the opposite of correct. So in this case it would be incorrect. Um, okay, so we've got the probability of that will be 0 0.85 times 0 0.08. And then you can see where this is going. The probability of going at night time and correctly identifying the other vessels is going to look like this. And finally, going at night time and incorrectly identifying the vessels will be this one. Okay, so what could we do with this? First of all, we need to check. If we've shown all of the possible outcomes, this should all add up to one. This one does, so we're all good to go. Okay, so on a question, you might get something like this. On his next trip, What's the probability that Finn goes at night and correctly identifies the other vessels? Well, that's going to be this one. Night time and correctly identified. We've already worked that one out. We've done the uh, calculation above, so we can just write it down here. Okay, what about if he, on his next trip, he doesn't identify the vessels correctly? Well, that's these two possibilities. He's, he could either go at day and be incorrect or go at night and be incorrect. So we've got these two. And remember, when we have an or, that means we're going to add those things together. So the probability of each of those things added together. So we read them off from the top and put them together. OK, what about on his, if we think about this one, of his next 1,000 trips, how many of them would you expect him to be incorrect? Now we've just worked out that the probability of him being incorrect was 0 0.128. So we need to apply that to a thousand trips. So for that one, we just times it by a thousand. We can expect on 128 of his next 1000 trips, he will incorrectly identify the other vessels. Okay, what about uh, the probability that he either goes in daylight or identifies the vessels correctly. So to cover all of those possibilities, we need everything that's at day, first of all. So he could go at day and be correct, or go at day and be incorrect. Or he identifies correctly, so he could also 
go at night and be correct. Now, this is an OR situation, that means we're going to add together all of those probabilities. Another way to think about it is if all of those things add up to 1, instead of adding all the three things that they are, we could take away the one thing that it wasn't. So since they have to add up to 1 to cover all possibilities, we could take away the one thing that we're not including, which was that he goes at night and is incorrect, and that will give us the same answer.